how well we realize that in the great heart of humanity there is a deep homesickness which never can be satisfied with anything less than a clear consciousness or understanding of God, our Father. We recognize the hunger as hearts cry after God. There is nothing the human soul so longs for as to know God, whom to know aright is life eternal. We see people ever shifting from one thing to another, hoping they will find satisfaction or rest in some accomplishment or in the possession of some limited mortal desire. We see them pursuing and gaining things only to find themselves still unsatisfied. Some fancy they want houses and lands, some great wealth, and some great learning. We are privileged to know that man has all these things within himself. Jesus, the great master, attempted to have all see this. How do we love him? He stands out so beautifully triumphant because of his attainments. We love all who have reached the heights or high places in consciousness that Jesus has. We not only love them for their attainments, but because of what they really are. Jesus never allowed himself to dwell in the external after his illumination. He always kept his thoughts at the central part of his being, which is the Christ. In Jesus, the Christ, or central spark, which is God in us all, living in everyone today, was drawn forth to show itself perfectly ruling the material body or flesh man. It is in this way that he did all his mighty works, not because he was in some way different from you. He had no greater power than all have today. He was not in some way a son of God and we only servants of God. He did these works because the same divine spark which the Father has implanted in every child born was fanned into a brighter flame by his own efforts in holding himself in conscious communion with God himself the source of all life, love, and power. Jesus was a man, the same as all men are today. He suffered, was tempted and tried, just as you suffer because of temptation and trials. We know that during his residence on earth in the visible body, Jesus spent hours of every day alone with God and we know that in his early manhood he went through just what we have gone through and what you are going through today. We know that every man must overcome the mortal, the fleshly desires, the doubts and fears until he comes to the perfect consciousness or recognition of the indwelling presence, this Father in me, to whom Jesus ascribed the credit of all his mighty works. He had to learn as we had to learn, and as you are learning today. He was obliged to try over and over again, as you are doing. He was obliged to hold fast, as you are obliged to hold fast today, even with clenched fist and set teeth and saying, I will succeed. I do know that Christ lives within me.